Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. This is the Chitty X Max 3. I am gonna go ahead and show you the unboxing of this uh, bad boy. It is definitely a heavy one. Um, I would say it's closer to 80 pounds. So this is definitely a big, burly, heavy bad boy. It's a Core XY printer. Um, I had several people recommend this one to me. The, the people with both a Bamboo Lab printer and uh, the, the Chitty X Max 3 printer, and they've said, hey, this is a great printer. It's got a massive build volume, and it's uh, dang near the same quality as the Bamboo Lab printer. So I thought, hey, you know what? I need another printer. Let's, let's go ahead and roll the dice with a Core XY printer, see what they're all about. Um, so with this unboxing, the first few things I got were um, the instructions, obviously uh, extra, uh, all sorts of goodies. Um, there was a scraper in there. Here's some tools, um, some needles. Uh, there's a hot end. So um, yeah, the screwdriver, I don't even know why. I didn't even use the screwdriver. Um, actually, I don't think I, I don't, or don't really use what comes with the little USBs that come with the printers. Um, I find the USBs that come with the printers are often too cheap and they end up causing issues in the long run. So I don't usually use those, but um, I think this one I might have just kept just to use it. Well, I'm not, I honestly can't remember. There were two different uh, two different boxes with, with two different kinds of USBs, which I thought was interesting. Um, but this, uh, this printer came highly recommended by several people. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, about, it's about an 80 pounds. Um, it is a... Uh, it is a beast of a printer, that's for sure. But I can print full-size helmets. Uh, most of the armor that I print, um, I, a lot of the smaller pieces, um, I know I make it look light, but it's it's pretty heavy, bad boy. Um, I like the fact that it's heavy, uh, mainly because it's, you know, when you're dealing with um, a very fast printer, they like to shake. Um, they like a lot of that torque and acceleration really makes these bad boys shake. I ended up... Um, putting this on the ground I, I bought a couple of uh 24 inch uh blocks from the home garden section of lowe's and i put this on a 24 inch block on the on the floor because it shook the table i put it on originally so you know um it's a, it's definitely a, a it's definitely moves it's a fast printer uh, it it actually has around the same settings as my Elegoo Neptune 4 Max and my Anycubic Cobra 2 uh, Cobra Max Cobra 2 Max. Um, so the the speed itself is about the same, but I think because so, something strange happened the other day when I actually ran a print, um, it told me it was going to take four hours longer on my Elegoo than it did on the the Chitty X Max 3, which was crazy. I mean, it was a, it went from a 10 hour print to a six hour print. And I swear that the settings are almost identical. So it's it blows me away. But um, this is a great printer. As you can see, it comes really well boxed. There's no glass door, which I actually prefer not to be glass because if these things get dropped or manhandled poorly, um, I don't really want to have to deal with a shattered glass. I did, uh, because I'm printing with uh, PLA, I don't really print with ABS or any of the other stuff, so I just kind of left the lid off. I didn't even take, I didn't even really put the, I haven't put the lid back on. Um, I did end up putting a uh, air filtration thing that my wife bought me because she thought it stunk in, the, in my office. Um, so I did put an air filtration system to kind of help with the smell. I print with um, Meta PLA, which I think the, maybe the Meta PLA is just a more potent PLA. But see, this is how big. I want to show you guys how, how big. This is a big helmet, and it fit perfectly on that build plate. All right. I just booted this bad boy up, plugged in. First question it asked was, which language? So English. Next. Removed zip ties. I removed all the zip ties already. Remove the screws that fix the bed. Oh, that's good. Okay. I will have to remove the screws that fix the bed. Isn't that cool? All right. That was pretty easy. Just to remove the screws. So next, about to move the platform. Please make sure the platform is clean and unlocked. So I used the arrows to move the bed up, and lo and behold, there was some foam underneath it. Rah. Next. All right. Keep pushing the filament into the filament runout sensor until it reaches the extruder. Guess I should set that up, huh? No 
Okay. Next task. So I installed the filament box. This is a dryer box. I installed this on the back as it was recommended, but about a week into owning it, I've now moved it to the side of the printer because the back was just a pain in the butt to get to. I really dislike the location of this because I don't have access to the back end of the, my printer that, that easily. It's just a pain. Um, but I do have some cool S STL files that I downloaded from printables to move the, the, um, dryer box you don't even have to use the dryer box if you don't want to but it basically has a desiccant pack in the dryer box so it helps dry the filament as you're using it um, or at least keep it dry but i moved it to the side uh, it's a it's way better located on the side of the printer i didn't drill into the printer body i didn't really want to do any of that and void any of my warranty it's um just kind of pressure held into place um, using the handles on the side i really love that this printer comes with handles I mean, because it is so heavy, these the handles help it. You move it really easily, but um, setup was super easy. All right, I hit next. Sorry, jumped uh, jumped the gun. Enter filament in the extruder and click the button. Pretty sure we did this. All right, I got a little bit of the filament to extrude. I'm gonna put the um, carbon filter, what is this? Um, charcoal filter, there's a active carbon charcoal filter. And then there's a little place for it back here. So I'm gonna put that in there. Pretty sure that's where it goes. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Let's see what this picture says. Yep, that's what it looks like. Goes. Just gotta get it in the hole. All right. Now startup. It's kind of stinky. I can smell a little bit of funk, but it's probably just from heating it up for the first time. But it did extrude some material, um, and then I went to the next button, and it just basically said, your guide tutorial finished. So, fairly simple. I'm going to do the leveling and all that good jazz now. Pretty straightforward. I mean, other than being like 80 pounds, it's not bad. But I'm a big boy. I can lift 80 pounds, no, bit, no problem. So. so, if you can't lift 80 pounds, this may not be the printer for you. Just FYI. But boy, <laughs> that build plate, man. Look at that build plate. 330 by 330. Yeah, buddy. Full size helmets. So let's learn what all the buttons mean. This is the home button. Oh, there's my files. So benchies and all that good jazz. And then. Okay, load. That's probably filament. Cool. Calibration. That's what I need right there. Auto bed leveling. Right there. Preheat hotbed to the filament printing temperature. Oh, okay. I can do that. Mm, I like 60. We're going to go with 60. All right. Leveling will reset the offset value, ensure the nozzle is clean and free from filament on the tip. All right, let's do that. Well, I don't, yeah, okay, maybe a little bit. I think it's okay. Now I do have the camera system for this, so I'm going to actually set up the, the time-lapse cameras for this as well, which should be fun to watch.
All right, I'm going to let it do its leveling thing and maybe get back to setting up the other one. So this is the first thing I printed um, using their preset uh, sliced file. I, I ended up just printing it to see what it turned out like. And uh, I was very pleased with it. My very first print actually was really nice. Once I've dialed in the settings, this thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's almost super smooth with the print. Um, I probably segued a little too many times on this conversation, but you know, that's EDD for you. Um, but yeah, both printers now set up. They're rocking and rolling. They're printing really fast. Um, they're, you know, like I said, I want to add a couple more to my collection now. So, and I probably will, honestly. I, I really look at, like, look to, at the Bamboo Lab printers and, you know, other than being able to print with multiple colors, that's the only benefit over this printer, in my opinion. Um, but it prints fast, it prints smoothly, very user-friendly. This is one of the first parts I printed off of the, the printer before I even got my settings dialed in. So once I get, once I got my settings dialed in, it was even nicer of a print, so. This is definitely a great printer. I print around 300 millimeters per second on both printers. Um, the biggest thing you gotta deal with is making sure the table you have it on is strong enough to hold it because it will shake the piss out of your table. So just keep that in mind. Whatever you put it on, make sure it's very sturdy. And, and sometimes just putting directly on the floor is not a bad idea. So, um, But here's another print, another armor. These are new armor for, for a uh, Halo Master Chief kit that I have on my Etsy store. Um, and I'm loving it, man. I'm loving this this kit. I'm able to print a lot of the armor on these printers, um, and like I said, er, in less time than I am on my Elegoo or my Anycubic. So, so if you're new to 3D printing, you want something. Um, like I said, these are about 80 pounds. They're very heavy, um, but they're a great printer. They can print helmets, which is that's it for me. I mean, the fact that I can print a full size helmet, I don't have to print it in pieces. Is is that's you know, and I get the same kind of quality. That is the selling feature for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm gonna keep posting videos on the L the, the uh, Chitty Max, uh, X-Max 3 and, uh, and more. So thanks for watching. Um, comment in the description below or the comment section below and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody.